President-elect Donald Trump selected retired Marine General James Mattis to be the next Secretary of Defense. Former U.S. Army Delta Force Commander and current Family Research Council Executive Vice President, retired General Jerry Boykin joins us now by Skype to talk about Trump's pick. And I understand, General Boykin, you believe that Trump made a wise choice. Talk about that. Why is this a wise choice? Well, thank you very much, and I'm happy to be with you. I think this is uh, a wise choice for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, these two men are kindred spirits. Uh, I think they both uh, love America very passionately, and they want what's best for America first and foremost. Now, Jim Mattis, uh, his selection sends a very strong message to our military, to our young men and women serving. And that is that uh, our military is going to get back to its primary mission. In fact, it really only has one mission, and that is to win the nation's wars. We've moved a long way from that. And I think uh, choosing Jim Mattis sends a message that we are going to restore military readiness, and we're going to get back to being prepared to win this nation's wars. We've got a generation of people that don't know what victory is. Well, in a statement, you said that General Mattis is first and foremost a warrior. What did you mean by that? Well, I want you to look at some of the things that uh, you've seen uh, in, in our military in the last eight years, uh, where we have a, uh, two uh, patrol boats taken by the Iranians. And the commander of those two boats, a Naval Academy graduate, looks into the camera and says, this is all our fault, and we want to apologize to the Iranians, and we want to thank them for their hospitality. Does that strike you as being the warrior ethos? Jim Mattis is known to be a warrior. He understands war fighting, and he will, goes out to win. When we have those kinds of episodes, and everybody in the world sees it, but more importantly, the people in the services uh, see that kind of thing, uh, it is a clear indication that we've moved a long ways from the warrior ethos. And that's what Jim Mattis represents. What do you think Mattis is going to bring to the job of Secretary of Defense if he's confirmed? Yeah, I think Mattis is going to uh, do just what I talked about. He's going to uh, tell the military to stop what they're doing in terms of wasting their training time on social experiments uh, and he's going to tell them to get beyond uh, all the political correctness that has uh, consumed our military and to focus on fighting wars and developing young warriors that will have the warrior ethos. I think that Mattis is also going to change leadership in the military. I think that we're going to see some of the senior leaders in our military today uh, that will be uh, headed off to retirement, at least I hope so, and he'll bring in a fresh crew uh, of people that I think will be focused and of a like mind on war fighting. In a recent interview, you were quoted as saying that Mattis cut through political correctness. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Well, I go online, and I would recommend to all your viewers, just go online and look at some of the Mattis quotes. Uh, he breached every protocol of political correctness uh, in stating how he felt about things. He's a very straightforward guy. He's a, he's a tough guy, and uh, he's a consummate professional. Remember, here's a guy that uh, in an almost 40-year career, uh, he has commanded at every level, and he is at the same time well-versed in Socrates and Plato and, and the classics. Uh, I mean, this is a very well-rounded man. But uh, he, first and foremost, is a warrior who uh, is not concerned about political correctness, safe spaces, or someone being offended by what he says. Well, in that same recent interview, you said that Mattis sees the world the way it really is, not the way people would like for it to be. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, Jim Mattis lives in the real world. You know, we've got uh, we've got a president and an administration and and lots of people within the the government at all levels that that really see the world through rose colored glasses. They want to portray it uh, the way they'd like for it to be, rather than the way it really is. A good example of that is uh, Jim Mattis understands what motivates ISIS. It's a theology. It's a fourteen hundred year old theology that motivates them to want to go out and kill infidels and establish a global caliphate. 
he doesn't buy into, nor does he see this through the lens of political correctness, and therefore he's willing to call them out. He's willing to identify who the enemy is and why they do what they do. Okay. Retired General Jerry Boykin, thank you so much for your time today, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Glad to be with you.